What's up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Ray Ray, and it is 2020. We're going to start a new YouTube series following some Project 2 career path. Going to start off in the GT5 series um, with our Janetta, which uh, I've done offline, off camera in the past. Um, but we want to work our way towards a uh, GT3 uh, in Tier 2, and then we start figuring out if we want to stay in the GT series and do the World Challenge, or if we may want to dive off and do um, one of the other series, Open Wheel um, or Sports Car. Uh, I'm not a huge Rallycross person, but I could do it. I mean, I've done it in dirt, so, you know, why not? But, uh, anyways, just going to be opening up the series. And so, new reset settings for the streaming. Uh, had to reset my PC from the scratch and reset up everything but I think it's gonna run a lot smoother and reallocated stuff and put a new uh, terabyte hard drive in so uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna see how it rolls and how the series is gonna work is essentially I will practice off camera unless I see something terribly awesome then maybe I'll save a replay or something like that um, but qualifying we'll get a chance to see the full qualifying and the race and then if I get super savvy if you just want to go to the race I'll be able to be do that in uh, YouTube down in the descriptions where you can just skip all my antics and go right there so essentially we're gonna start off here and we're going to select our Janetta GT5 series and watch the Vitamo. Alright, so nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, everything is in the UK. We are going to do a full season. So we'll start at Alton. Then head to Snetterton, which is my favorite. I consider home track advantage for when I spent time uh, in East Anglia. And then Silverstone, Donington, and finishing up at Brands. Uh, do a quick look at the rules and regs. So the one practice, one qualifying, and then the race. Uh, if I remember correctly, these are timed races, not lapped races, and we'll get to that. Um, when we get to the event one, um, but uh, it is a standing start. Um, so these races, uh, you know, look at the boning points of so fastest qualifying, fastest lap, get a point, uh, and then there's the point breakout in the center. Um, these are going to be mostly, unless there's something terrible happen, uh, no refueling. Uh, we'll gas up and provide a little bit of overhead to make sure we're good to go and then we press from there and unscheduled stops we'll make if we need to and off camera I also did some um, reworking of pit strategies um, and be able to tie that into Crew Chief which is another application that I use for voice speed Spotting, crew chiefing, and voice commands as well. All right, so now we got to pick our infamous car, and if there's any way to pick number eleven, that'd be great. But let's see what we have. Oh, there it is, Barlow's Racing Team number eleven. Nice green, two-tone green with a black in the back. I'm good with it. So the GT40, or the G40 GT5, I will sign me contract. And yeah, 
Yes, I purchased some DLC, so I have all these other things that I could do. Yep, thank you. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's take a quick look at our messages. Oh my gosh, so many messages. Uh, huh, that actually looks like I picked up messages from my other... From my other... Um, campaign. So, let's see. Manufactured drives, proving ground. You know what? I actually think it has just covered my other career. Although I don't have accolades. So, maybe I just reset everything, which is terrible. But guess that's what I get for putting my name down twice. All right, well, whatever. Uh, we can we can make this work. We can definitely make this work. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get to practicing, and then we will etch in uh, Q1 and then get to the race. So uh, we will cut and see you there. All right, practice session all set up and out of the way. It's uh, time to get in qualification. So this is a 20 minute qual and a couple updates. One is that uh, my original save game wasn't written over, thank goodness. Whew. And then uh, our race time for these races are gonna be 15 minutes. So I'm going to bring in the webcams. Hello everybody. And today we're sporting corgi socks. Heck yeah. UK, more London-esque uh, corgi socks. So, awesome sauce. Thank you, wife, for that one. I appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get into driving. So this is a sequential. Uh, Yep, sequential gearbox, uh, GT5 design, so it's going to uh, be relatively easier to drive than what I've been driving lately. Pit exit's clear. We've got 18 minutes to do the business. <laughs> the brake temperatures are low. We need to get some heat into them. So weather conditions today, not too bad. Uh, we are looking at, uh, you know, lightly cloudy. Relatively cool. Taking a little easy on this first lap out. Some of the other things I've done since the uh, the reset of the system is I've changed the force feedback to raw, so it is a much stronger force feedback. I think that might be a little bit more helpful as I've gotten used to how. Uh, Project Cars gives you feedback. Alright, let's go ahead and start up lap one. That's not a good way to start. The tire's still a wee bit cold.
As you see me struggle, try to keep it on the tarmac. And missing gear. Time is good. Your right sides are cold. Yep. put this one in the books and then we will get ready to race. a little bit. Um, oof. 
<laughs> Maybe I didn't need to start at GT5. That's all right. It'll give me some breathing room for when I make silly mistakes, which I tend to do and have to play catch up. All right. There's results. Where is my teammate? I wonder. Uh, back in 12th, Joseph Byron. All right. Off to the race we go. That's pole. 15 minutes. All right. So it's 15 minutes, and this is where we got to do some math for the fuel. How much fuel for 15 minutes? We haven't got that data. Because I should have done it in qualifying. Um, so we were running a 130 something per lap. So let's do, let's go in here real quick. Um, so is probably going to be close to 10 laps. So just because I didn't calculate the fuel beforehand, let's do 12 laps. So about a minute, minute 40 for 15 minutes. Yeah, 12 is going to be good. I mean, we're already kind of doing well. Uh, we're going to save this one as our race setup. Save over in an existing slot. Oh no, I didn't want to save over that one. Oh well, fair enough. I know. I know what it is. I didn't save over my primary one, so that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe I can go here. Uh, save as uh, race. Now I save over it. Yep, this is going to be race setup one. Uh, stable and Alton. Sweet. All right, we're loaded up. Pitch strategy is a little out of sorts because I changed it, but uh, essentially, if I need to get in there, I can. I know it. I know what to look for. Here we go. Don't fuck this up. That's Paul. <laughs> Thanks. Go nail it. Oof! I was a little slow off the line. Okay, we're all through that. Gonna be a little gentle in this first turn, just till we get our bearings. There we go. I can see him kind of creeping. We'll cover off.
All right, now it's time to just be consistent. This is what I'm talking about. Mistakes. Room for mistakes. Okay, let's get back in it. So I'm slowing down, slowing down, I'm slowing down, there we go, jeez. Ten minutes to go, that's ten minutes left. Alright, through the way through. How much fuel to the end? You got loads of fuel. Okay. The gap to Laybourne behind is now 3.7. Your ears are cold. Right front locking into Lodge. That's the fastest lap. That last lap was a 136.01. That was a 156? How about 136? Maybe I just heard him wrong, but.
yeah, I'm definitely get my braking needs to be a little bit more dialed in on that hairpin. Half distance, fuel looks good. Okay. Attempts are good. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. That's the fastest lap of the race. You've just done a 135.06. There we go. Outside of track limits, there. We're setting the pace. Great driving. Keep it up. That was a 135.54. Five minutes left. Come on, keep your shit together. We can win this. Oh my gosh. You guys are hitting me up. all of the track limit penalties. Well, warnings. comfortable. because I didn't try to fly off the corner. Okay, that felt like a good break point right there.
Ooh. So we're more than likely going to get this lap and another lap in. And I really like the feedback, the force feedback on the wheel. Um, definitely feel like I'm better to feel where the losing the grip. Now braking that's been a thing. Whenever it's been saying and locking up, I haven't really felt like a shutter uh, before the brake locks up. So that could be a couple things. That could just be me not used to the feedback. That could be me pushing the brakes too hard and it's going to an instant lock. But uh, I don't know. I'll keep playing around with that. Obviously started with the GT5 to re relearn and uh you know share with the uh, y'all on youtube you know what hated motorsports is all about which is not making mistakes <laughs> mm. no we're we're okay with making mistakes as long as you learn from them but at the same time we're also about extra life. I'll tell you all about that at the end of this race. One more lap for the win. Come on. That lap was at line up for this last corner here. Cruise by the checkered stand. That's a win. Great job. Well done. <sighs> All right. Whew. Good. That was good. Good first one under the belt. So for those keeping track at home, the uh, the difficulties set up to 60 on a 100% scale. Uh, if they go to 80, they start breaking out of the uh, what would be your uh, default car setup. Uh, and they start doing car setups. Um, I usually only adjust car setups if I'm really struggling. Um, I tend to be a driver that more adapts to um, the track, trap my adapt my driving style to the track, um, and uh, if there are any you know significant 
uh, changes that need to be made I do that but then I do it a little bit balanced too so if I'm gonna take off let's say I'm gonna take off some acceleration um, then I'm also gonna make sure that I'm keeping an eye on uh, on any understeer or oversteer you know, based off of that and then you know dial that in as needed but uh, yeah, so this is our first race done in Alton Park, and I'll drive them, drive them down here to the pits. Um, get the limiter on, but fantastic. Maybe that's not me. <laughs> there we go. I was up a little bit further. Alright, well, thank you everyone for joining. I'll let you get a chance to see. Uh, well, there's no penalties, but that's what the uh, webcams are covering. Um, so yeah, like I said, we wanted to fill you in a little bit on um, Extra Life. So on Extra Life, uh, last two years ago, we uh, participated in Extra Life. This last year was a little hectic. There's a lot of things going on, so we didn't participate in the in the one day, 24 hour streaming. But what I am going to be doing is putting more uh, drops of links and things like that in the vid video recordings and in the live streams uh, to support uh, Extra Life, who we support the Phoenix uh, Children's Charities, Phoenix Children's Hospitals, um, and. Uh, there's a story. There's a story that we can share. But that will leave that for another day. Well, thank you for watching here on DJ Ray Ray Plays, and we will catch you at the next time, which could be the next race, or it could be other things, because we do a variety of content on this channel. Alright, so thanks for watching, and remember, gaming and gunpowder, live by one, die by the other.